G'day guys, welcome back to the grand final edition of Game Day Squad. Of course, this is the only fantasy platform that is still going on through finals, hence why we are still running this competition. So make sure you update your teams this week. There is, uh, there's because it's only two teams, it obviously really opens up the, the playing field to uh, potentially jag a win and there's weekly prizes to be won. And as well, if you want to continue playing, we have AFLW competitions as well. All the information for that is in the description of this video. So make yourself an AFLW team, join the competition. We got uh, about nine or 10 people in the comp now. Let's try and bump those up. That'd be great. So we'll make this one pretty rapid fire, I reckon, because it's uh, it's going to be real, real tough. You know, last week I had to buy like plays for like 50 cents to try and top up my team. You don't need to do that. There's uh, plenty of ways to do that for free on the marketplace as well. Last week, as you can see on the top right, I scored 14.04, which I think is all right, considering, you know, we're playing very, very weakened teams here, but we scroll down. Now there is a bit of a glitch, it seems, in that uh, it doesn't show you the, uh, the most recent score. That is the round 24 score. So I don't know what each player got individually, but it doesn't matter at the moment. We're literally like, I'm going to pick players. If you wear a Collingwood jumper or a Brisbane jumper, you're probably going to make this team. And then I will go to the marketplace to see if I can find any really cheap options to improve my team. But as you can see here, there's a lot of orange and there is a lot of uh, navy blue that I've got to get out of this team as well, which is unfortunate because you look how many GWS heavy hitters I have in this team. If they had just made the grand final, that would have been very, very nice. Uh, so I estimate I've got to get about half of this team out. That's gonna be hard. Now the first thing I do is you know that we get free starter packs for playing each week. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do to see if I can get any Collingwood or Brisbane players. So I get a forward midfielder and ruck. Let's see how we go. Please be someone playing this grand final. The odds are very, well, they're not super slim, but they're not great. Taylor Walker, yeah, I've already got him anyway. Midfielder, come on. Zorko, that'd be nice. Cully, yeah, I think I've already got him too. So. Sometimes these uh, these free packs, particularly like the longer you play the game, uh, the less and less exciting they are. What do we got? Sam Draper. Okay, I think I had all three of those players, but that's all right. Now let's just go back to my squad and uh, we can scroll down to the bottom here and you can see like who's in reserve for you. So I am looking for Collingwood players. Uh, Taylor Adams will play in the grand final, I believe. And that is a platinum version as well. That's very hot. Uh, so he will come into the team. Let's just scroll down and see if there's anyone else uh, please, just someone else. Um, who else have I got? There's a gold Taylor Adams. I can only have one of them. Uh, still side bottoms there. That's handy. And uh, I got excited there. That's a Bulldogs. Ed Allen. Shock grand final debut. Marlon Pickett style. Um, don't really see anyone else here. So we may have to go to the marketplace. Jasper Fletcher. Okay, he's a midfielder. Of Tom Mitchell, I've already got one of. So I don't need both. Really scraping the barrel here at Allen again. Got a couple of him. Wow, I have a really big list. Daniel Rich, okay, probably not gonna play either. So, all right, cool. I'm just gonna go through and pick out the uh, GWS players. I don't think I had any defenders. Let's just try that again. I don't think I had, oh, you can search by team here. That's handy. All right, Collingwood, Collingwood defenders. Nope, Brisbane. And you're rich. Okay, I'm just gonna pick rich anyway. So I got a good starting point here with uh, Neil and Mitchell, and I got Josh Dacos on the bench. Dacos on the bench. I will uh, just do a bit of maneuvering here. So let's start off with Collingwood. What Collingwood midfielders do I have? I'm gonna bring in the best Taylor Adams that I have, and I'm gonna bring in start steel side bottom, and I'm gonna bring in Dacos for the bench. So I might actually have a full midfield. That's a really good start. I'll have to do a bit of maneuvering here. I'll get Ed Allen <clears throat> because I need to get Dacos out and then back in. So let's get. Ed Allen. Oh no, I can get Jasper Fletcher actually. I might put Jasper Fletcher on my bench assuming that he is, uh, well, I think he's a chance to get dropped, right? I've got Jared Berry too. That's a game changer. All right, I'll chuck Jared Berry on my team. I'll decide who is actually going to be on the bench shortly, but um, at the moment, I think it'll probably be Jared Berry out of the midfielders that I have. Uh, Josh Dacos comes into the side and then steal side bottom probably the other player. It's really handy that you can search by club there. I have been doing that wrong this final series, but that's all right. So unfortunately, Whitfield comes out and I downgrade him in terms of uh, fantasy points and he comes on. I did have Jasper Fletcher as a forward and I swear it changed, but that would have been handy. All right, so that's a strong midfield. Uh, based on this, I need to be going for Collingwood in this grand final. I need them to dominate the midfield battle. Darcy Cameron in the ruck, that's pretty good. Uh, do I have a Brisbane Lions ruckman? I don't think so. I thought I had back and Ernie. I said that last week and it turned out, I think my roommates got him. Anyone in Collingwood, I think it, nah, that's it. All right, so I have to deal with that. Forward line's not too bad, actually. I've only got to replace two players. Uh, so Zach Fisher, um, let's see if I got any Collingwood forwards in reserve. I do not. Brisbane forwards. 
I do not. Okay, so that's where we need to start. So, okay, I, I gotta replace two forwards and I gotta replace three defenders. Well, four defenders, because Daniel Rich, I don't think, is playing. Cool, so now we're in the marketplace, and if you saw how this worked last week, uh, I am going to uh, try and pad out my team with really cheap players. We're talking like 20 cents. I don't want to pay over a dollar for a single player. Uh, but I, you know, you can trade for bronze players. I kind of find that annoying, because if you just click on one, uh, you've got to have that player in your reserve. I can't be bothered doing that. So we are going to search for silver. You can't buy bronze, you have to buy silver. And uh, I want a, for sale, I want a defender. And I'll search by club first. It needs to be, we'll start with the Brisbane Lions, see if there's anyone cheap. So Starsevich at 23 cents and Gardner at 13 cents, really stand out there. Who else have we got? Leicester for 20 bucks, yeah, that's a good idea. Wilmot for five bucks, still a little steep. What are they averaging? 80, and what is Starsevich averaging? 65, okay, so a clear drop there. Gardner, 50, okay, so I'm really just, oh, Coleman, how much does Coleman cost? Nine bucks, no thank you. Starsevich for 25 cents, it's very good. Jackson Payne, he's under an injury cloud. What's his average anyway? 61, yeah, probably not worth it. He's a key back, so probably doesn't make sense for the purposes of this. I need four defenders, so I might just pull the uh, pull the trigger here on 36 cents for Stasevich and Gardner. That's not too bad. Stasevich is a gun too. Like, there's a chance that he becomes a better player. Uh, Gardner, 13 cents. Dunzo, okay. So I am... Uh, well, I have to be considering the salary cap here. And, and now, because I'm buying silver players, that might be an issue. Let's try him out. Uh, oh, Nick Newman, actually. That's going to save me some money. And Gardner. All right, so how am I sitting? I am sitting well and truly under the salary cap. And I need to replace one, two, three, and four players in this team. But you know what? I'm actually doing pretty well. So let's go back to the market and find a little piggy. Let's go to Colling... Uh, yeah, let's go to Collingwood and back to silver and for sale. And I need them to be defenders and I'll have a look at some forwards too. So who we got? Maynard is three bucks. What's he averaging? 98, that's pretty good. I actually consider that. Jeremy Howe, decent to it, $2.80. You'd rather go the extra 20 cents for Maynard. Maynard, I don't know why I forgot the D there. <laughs> Story of my love life. Um, Quaino, five bucks. And the Collingwood defenders are a little bit more valuable. Arlo Draper, no thank you. Trey Rusco, probably not. Billy Frampton, still no. <sighs> I'm gonna pull the trigger on Maynard for three bucks. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, we're into the forward line now. Um, Jamie Elliott's there. How much is Elliott average? 85, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna do that. Jamie Elliott, two bucks, that's worth it for 85. Zorko is three dollars. Oh yeah, go on, Zorko's made my team too. All right, I, in the end, uh, I have gone a little bit more expensive than I intended it. So let's go back. I think I've got one defender to buy, but let's just get these guys into the team now. Maybe I have two defenders. Wait, two defenders? No, yeah, one. Maynard is the first one. Braden Maynard, done. And I also bought Jamie Elliott, who I'll swap for Fisher and uh, not the DJ. I'm really vibing Fisher's music, by the way, now. I never used to. I really hate losing it, but I'm really starting to like his other music. Okay, so the forward line is complete. That's pretty good. I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm not going to worry about the bench. So I've got one defender here to replace. Let's go back to the market. Come on, little piggy. What do you got for me? How much is Wilmot going for? Five bucks. That's a bit steep, to be honest. Um, yeah, God, I just need someone real cheap that is going to play. Do I put Jackson Payne in there? He's, they said that he's a 70% chance of playing. I'd probably be a bit crazy to pick him, wouldn't I? But it is 10 cents. Someone's gonna be very happy that their random Jackson Payne silver car just got bought. Yeah, that might be the best bet. I think I'm just gonna go Jackson Payne and roll the dice on him getting picked. We'll see what happens there, but I don't really wanna spend any more money. So that will do me. And uh, we have a finalized team. If Jackson Payne comes in and scores 60, I've done my job. I've done my job. Then I can go to the pub. All right, final move is Payne back into the side after a commanding 48 in round 24. And maybe to just finish it off, I will just get Rich onto the bench. Obviously, I don't think he's played since round 13, but um, why not? 
All right, so this is my rag tag team uh, grand final players. I've done fairly well, I think. I've spent about, I don't even know how much I just spent, $8, but I think I've given myself a chance with the amount of silver plays here and a pretty strong midfield of actually getting a weekly cash prize. So I might make that money back. You'd be silly not to. There you go, guys. That is my best crack at assembling a team for this 2023 AFL grand final. Thought it was gonna be a short video, but it was actually quite long and difficult. But I appreciate the content. Let me know in the comments what you're doing with your team this weekend. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.